So we finally got a day with no rain. Yeah, things are kind of muddy still. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to test out my new chainsaw. Now this is my Echo chainsaw. Now this is my Echo chainsaw. Now this is my Echo chainsaw. Yeah, I got dad jokes. Alright, so what we're going to do is, is I'm going to start clearing some of this. I don't know how much we'll get done today, but we're going to start clearing some of this down the drive here. Because next year we're going to plant some fruit trees all the way up this drive on both sides. So, two things. we got to make sure we got enough sunlight for them to make it. And, and we got to make sure uh, we get it far enough away from the drive. Because they're going to grow, right? They're going to branch out. So we don't want them right next to the drive. So, we got to move some of this shrubs and brush and trees so we can do that. <laughs> stumps pretty high we're gonna leave them because dad he's wanting to bring a bunch of dirt in here and kind of level this off a little bit are you gonna clean up your mess you know you got other kids uh, you made the mess you should clean it I know but your other kids should do something too <sighs> This chainsaw, I mean, it's doing really good. So I have no complaints or gripes about it right now. It's running really good. And again, this is an Echo CS4910. It's got a 50.2 cc. So I do recommend it, but we'll see how it goes as time goes on. So. Now just because something works good at first don't mean it's going to last long. But we'll we'll take care of it. Alright, so as you can see I left about a six foot log here. It's fairly straight. May try to make lumber out of it. Now when this big tree fell, it came really close to hitting that. In fact, if it would have hit straight, it would have smashed it. But since it had like a fork right there, it was just above it, so I got lucky. Don't really want to do plumbing today. Even though it's still kind of green, I'm going to go ahead and try to make some uh, boards out of it. Now, they don't have to be like perfect one buys or two buys. They just got to be small enough to where I can run them through the uh, table saw. And then I can make them whatever size I want. So Now, this is only probably about, probably about 12 inches in diameter, maybe. So we ain't gonna get a whole lot of boards, but I just want to see if this process works. So you guys seen a Alaskan chainsaw where it cuts it horizontal all the way down, right? Well, the only problem with that is whenever you go cutting, you got the top piece laying on your bar, right? So <clears throat> it's too much friction. So you're not getting as you're not getting as good as cut as you would if you did it standing up vertically so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive a couple of these stakes in the ground on each side put a couple nails in it just to kind of help hold it upright then I'm gonna attempt to go ahead and, and cut one strip off if it works good I'll go ahead and I'll do a couple more now of course screws would be better because you could just unscrew it but I'm not at home I don't have my tools so I'm just using what mom and dad had here. Hopefully that'll keep it from rolling. Something else I forgot to mention before we did this, you see I put a couple of blocks 
under here to get it up off the ground because dirt will dull your chainsaw really quick. And again, this probably would be better if you let the thing dry out, that would help. And also debarking at first would help too. But just for trial purposes, is why we're doing this. So I, I was thinking I could just let it eat and just let it just go on its own. But as you can see about right here, it started kind of swerving over. So instead of continuing on that way, cause I would eventually cut it off real weird. So I went ahead and I put a score down it, which is fairly straight. Yeah, it's rough cut, but I mean, that's what we're getting anyway, right? So, so now that I got this scored, I'm gonna go ahead and just, just keep going back and forth until I get the thing sawed off. If I like it, I'll probably go ahead and do one more cut. And that'd be about two inches. So then I'll have three, I'll have three boards rough cut that I can actually take to the house and I could actually get some smooth cut boards with the table saw. And I mean, I could have one buys or two buys or whatever I want really, so. All right, so we've got three big boards. As you see, it don't look too bad. Make a bench out of it or furniture. Or, like I said, we can take it down to the garage. We can just make some boards like you get out the store with it. But these ain't pine, so these are some expensive boards, really. I believe this is white. <laughs> This is actually Sunday when she's recording this right now. The incident with the tree hit me happened Friday. Now believe it or not, I know I don't really show very good in that video, but I was a good five feet away from that tree when it kicked out and hit me. Regardless, I was I was being careless. I knew better. I knew I should have moved back further. I, and I just didn't. I don't know why. Just dumb. But I've cut down a lot of trees all day and everything. I was tired and the big trees I've been cutting. I finally started working on some of these smaller ones and that's the one that got me. Really fortunate I didn't break no bones. I do I do got some tissue damage. I don't know if I'm gonna have to have surgery yet. My left leg, it's about twice the size of my right leg right now, up here my thigh. Now my hand, my arm, the swelling's went down quite a bit. It's still, it's still a little swollen. But it's starting to heal up. I was able to get my uh, wedding ring off today, finally. I thought I was going to have to cut or break that off. But I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Again, prayers are very much appreciated. And uh, if you haven't done it or don't know, I actually have a Facebook account, Phil Chamberlain Jr. I post little clips throughout the day. So you guys can uh, go to that if you'd like to subscribe to that. But... Please watch the videos all the way through, through, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. As you've seen in that video, safety is a key issue. Again, I was five feet away from that tree whenever it swung out. But out of all reality, I should have been another, another five to ten feet away from it, behind it, whenever it fell. So, uh, and, you, and, you should, and honestly, you should be wearing safety glasses, you should wear Ooh, safety helmets. And all that other stuff, you really should. So, learn from my mistake. Don't do that. <laughs> so the videos, they're not going to stop, guys. They're going to continue. So, 
my parents are still doing stuff my wife she'll still be doing stuff and my brother Brent he'll still be doing things and hopefully some of my other siblings will jump in there and kind of help out some but I go home my breath on that but anyway <clears throat> You'll still probably see me here and there. I'll probably put in my two cents worth from time to time and and try to be up to my usual honor self. So it's still on. We hope you enjoyed watching Chamberlain Family Farms. You can contact us at chamberlainff at gmail.com. You can also check us out on Facebook, Chamberlain Family Farms. We hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.